Uh, I'd like to welcome back Eleanor McMahon to the uh, program from uh, Share the Road. You're the president and founder of this organization. How are you? Good, yeah. Good. Um, what is uh, Share the Road? Tell me. It's a province-wide organization that promotes cycling, that works at the municipal leader, and brings together stakeholders, everybody who wants to be in or is in the cycling conversation. So this municipality's gathering this mm -hmm. week here in Ottawa is pretty yeah. important stuff for, yeah. for you. Big deal for us yeah. because all those municipal leaders that we work with are here and in one place. And it's a chance to lobby government ministers and talk about policy stuff. Yeah. But to also, you know, bring a focus on cycling. Yeah. And, uh, you, you took know, some people around yesterday? I did, yeah. I brought What'd a bunch of folks. Really loved Ottawa. I mean, Ottawa has a reputation as a cycling-friendly city. Is it? Yeah, it is, actually. And uh, they do a lot of stuff really, really well. Um, you know, I don't live here anymore. As you know, I used to live here. Right. But, you know, the people that live here would probably have a list as long as your arm of things that Ottawa needs to do, but they really are doing a lot of things so right. So compared to other other centers around mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the country, we're yeah. okay? Yeah, pretty okay. I think Vancouver and Montreal really excel. I mean, if you look at the platinum rankings of the bicycle friendly Vancouver community. Vancouver first? Vancouver and Montreal would pretty much be right near the top, really? I'd say. Yeah. Ottawa's up there. People want to live here. Because they see that. Well, I mean, I was mentioning the article I read in the uh, Citizen today, which mm. you'd be interested in, is that more and more people are using cycling as their daily means of transportation when the weather's yeah. decent and sometimes even not when it's not. But uh, so we have to improve. We can't just be mm -hmm. mediocre. Yeah. Well, you know something? One of the things that people noticed last night was the innovative infrastructure that Ottawa has. That comes through investment and right. long-term planning. It's just smart. Yeah. And getting people safe places to ride is the key. So... Some of the stats are pretty interesting. Um, 2,000 people a day on the Laurier segregated bike lanes alone yeah. on a work day and 50,000 a month. That's good. That's yeah. a good number. Did you announce yet the three new uh, bicycle-friendly communities? Not yet. We're doing that, doing that uh, at a press conference tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, from across the province. And, uh, you know, it's always a good opportunity to get these people in front of their peers talking about what they're doing for cycling. We're at a silver level, friends. Yeah. Silver level here in Ottawa. What is it you want, um, Eleanor, people to, to know, uh, you know, about bicycling and, and what it means to communities in this country, not just Ottawa, but everywhere? It's, it's interesting. You mentioned the editorial. Quality of life is high on people's radar. Yeah. You know, they want, they're attracted to a city or a place because it's that connectivity and the quality of life. And you see in the real estate ads all the time, for example, Creekside or, you know, Review yeah, you don't View. See, you don't see people in sports cars in them. You no. see people on bicycles. Right. Right, and so the real estate industry understands that people want to be connected to their neighbors. They want to have healthy and strong and safe neighborhoods. And Ottawa is beginning to, has that, and is beginning to look into the future. Right. Mobility hubs, for example, all the right. transit investments that are coming. And you want, I mean, it's safety first, right? 100%. I mean, 60% of Ontarians don't ride because they're too afraid. And, you know, when you got people that won't take the bike out of the garage because they're afraid they're going to hit by a car, that's a problem. Yeah. And then you see at the other end of the spectrum, you see people, I saw some adults riding down a main thoroughfare the other day with no helmet on. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. The reason you're behind this sort of thing, and I know there's a big event coming up, uh, what, next Sunday? Mm -hmm. The ride for Greg, because yeah. Greg was your husband. Yeah, that's right. He was uh, an OPP officer, and you that's were, right. what, training for uh, a triathlon? That's right. When yeah. he got hit by a car and killed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 2006, big loss in my life and in my family's life, obviously. And, and apparently family. a lot of lives, from what I hear. Yeah, he was a great guy, and he worked here in the Ottawa area. We have a lot of friends here, and we both lived here at different times. And uh, so it's a chance to come back here to celebrate that, and we always have strong support in the mm -hmm. Ottawa area. We're looking forward to it. Next Sunday, Ron Colba Centre. Ride for Greg. Yep. Listen, uh, best of luck. Thank you so much. I hope much. you make progress. This Me is too. an interesting uh, area that we're in right now Thank you. in these times. No question about it.